Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. Let's take one PYQ topic. The PYQ is 6 years old lady with history of Collie's fracture and a Z score of minus 2.5. This Z score of minus 2.5, it indicates that a patient is having osteoporosis, right? And she has attained menopause 10 years back. So it clearly indicates that it is a case of menopausal osteoporosis, right? They have asked what is the best management for her. So let's see what is menopause and how we treat it in the menopause the ovaries they stop functioning and they stop producing estrogen which results in osteoporosis and other menopausal symptoms. So the treatment of the menopause is basically the artificial estrogen or we can say hormone replacement therapy. Now the key concept behind this is that how much dose we have to give of estrogen. This artificial estrogen which we give to stop the menopausal symptom it is 100 times more than the natural estrogen why we are giving such a high dose we are giving such a high dose because the main symptom of the menopause is hot flushes which disturbs the patient life a lot to stop this hot flushes we keep on increasing the dose till this hot flushes goes and the dose comes to be 100 times more than the natural estrogen now such a high dose will of course have a lot of side effects on the patient who is taking HRT. So what are they? The main side effect is that it risks the patient for cardiac diseases. Let's see how. The estrogen is basically a steroid. So when we are giving such a high dose of steroid, it will increase the LDL and decrease the HDL. Thus risk the patient for the cardiac diseases. Now the second side effect is such a high dose of estrogen will cause the endometrial hyperplasia. To decrease this side effect we add progesterone which stops the endometrial proliferation and we only add this progesterone if the patient has intact uterus. Now contraindications of HRT. Of course the first contraindication is heart diseases to the patient. Now if the patient is having already having the heart diseases we will not give uh, HRT to that patient. The second contraindication is age more than 60 years because at an increased age the patient is already at risk of heart diseases so we will not give the patient it to a lady who is more than 60 years the third is hyperestrogenic condition as HRT contain lot of estrogen so we are not going to give to a patient who is already having any hyperestrogenic condition fourth is hypercoagulable tendency estrogen as its normal doses also increase the clotting factor so if we are giving 100 times more estrogen it will increase the clotting factor much more and will risk the patient life by causing the thrombosis. So we will not give to the patient who is having any hypercoagulable diseases or any hypercoagulable tendencies. And last but not the least we are not going to give uh, HRT to a patient who is having liver diseases because this estrogen and progesterone they get metabolized in the liver right. And what if this patient these patients they are having these contraindications it doesn't mean that we will not give any other drug there are present substitutes depending on the symptoms so if the patient symptom is hot flushes then we will give clonidine or ssri of course the clonidine is preferred more the second symptom is urogenital syndrome for the urogenital syndrome or urogenital dryness we can give topical estrogen which will not cause a systemic side effects and the, for the osteoporosis we can give the first choice is alendronate which is basically a bisphosphonate and the second choice is raloxifene which is a selective estrogen receptor modulator. It is only estrogenic at bones so it will prevent osteoporosis but it will not prevent hot flushes at all. So let's see what was our question. Our question was that for the menopausal osteoporosis what is the, what is the best management? For the menopausal osteoporosis in a 60 years old lady we cannot give estrogen. We can give alendronate. We uh, cannot give HRT. It is contraindicated because it will risk the patient for the cardiac diseases. We uh, can give vitamin D and calcium but it will be not be the best management. We can, there is no need to repeat the bone marrow density after 6 months. Okay. So the best answer is alendronate. Thank you.